I'm a big Timberland fan just because he finds different ways. It's not like the same beat over and over and over and over again, you know? It's multiple ways of making your head nod, you know what I'm saying? Multiple ways of doing the drums and stuff like that. So I respect him and he, you know, he has his own unique sound that, you know, um, but at the same time, it's, it's a lot of cats though. Like I really, and I, I'm not sure if um, new producers do this, and if I really, really used to study Premier, his turnarounds, I used to study how, you know, the RZA stuff was real dirty and simplistic and, you know, even cats like Knott's, the big fan. I think he's, he might probably be the reason why I got a Z on the end of my name because, I mean, these cats were like, they were producing when I wasn't even thinking, you know what I mean? Like, I, they were producing before I even, just when I was a casual hip hop fan, when I really, really was into the hip hop. So, a lot of these cats that are my peers, like, like you know, that I was on stage with, A3C and all that stuff. These are like my idols, like Nas is like, you know, he's like the dopest to me. He's really, really dope. Um, who else is big, real big influence? Um, Premier, obviously, RZA, um, Nas was a real big influence. People sleep on DJ Scratch, he was really dope. Um, but that whole East Coast kind of sound was kind of my, my thing growing up. Yeah, I got this young cat named Donut. You know, his name is uh, Willie Donut, and he and I actually for the last year or so we've done a lot, a lot of stuff together. So you'll probably see, you know, probably the next couple months a lot of stuff saying need produced by Needles and Donut. You know, we that's kind of like what we go by, and and um, he's in LA right now, and uh, he's just kind of like somebody I'm kind of bringing up under me per se, um, and. I think he's dope. I think we're we're like minded and, and our our sounds are very similar, but like when we combine them, it's just like super weird and dope, you know. The signing to a label is different, but signing to like let's say Dark Child or whatever, he has a well oiled machine when it comes to you know signing producers and work you know them working on you. I think I think. Um, I think it's, I still think it's good as long as you're not tied in for like forever, you know. I think it's good to sacrifice um, a couple years to one, develop relationships, develop your sound, develop um, just just the work ethic and the see, you know, to be in some kind of system. It's because, I mean, like I said, it's a million producers and to be kind of um, affiliated with something is just one step you have or one you know one little notch you have over somebody else so i don't i don't think it's not i don't think it's a, a bad thing like i always think about if i was a producer today how would i go about doing it and um you know it's, it seems really tough but i think that would probably be one of the things i would do as long as it you know wouldn't be forever you know a couple years you know learn some stuff and go from there